How well do you know your space rocks? Do you know the difference between asteroids, meteoroids, meteorites and comets? With so many different types of space rock, it can get confusing. Let's start over 100 million miles away from Earth, between Mars and Jupiter. From a distance, it may look pretty empty, but this space is actually full of asteroids. So many that it's called the asteroid belt. Asteroids can be round, elongated, and some may even have very small moons. But most importantly, they are rocky objects, some containing metal and many also contain carbon. In such a crowded place, the asteroids occasionally bump into each other. Sometimes they collide with so much force that a piece of rock gets knocked off and this can leave the asteroid belt. We call this new rocky object a meteoroid. It will travel through space, spiralling towards the sun. Sometimes Earth gets in the way of a meteoroid's path. And if this rock enters our atmosphere, its name changes again. We'd call this rock a meteor. As it burns up in our atmosphere, it creates a streak of light that you might also know as a shooting star. But meteors don't always completely burn up in our atmosphere. If it survives its long fall and lands on the ground, we call this a meteorite. So then, what's a comet? Well, if we go even further out into the solar system, zipping past Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, we find the Kuiper Belt. This area is full of ancient objects, formed of dust and ice, which may become comets. It's also where we find the dwarf planet Pluto. The gravity of a giant planet or a nearby star can pull these icy objects away from the Kuiper Belt and redirect them towards the Sun, getting faster and faster and faster. Solar radiation, the energy and heat released by the Sun, causes the materials within the comet to vaporise, creating a beautiful tail of dust and gas. Some comets dive right into the sun, never to be seen again. Others swing around behind the sun, with gravity acting like a slingshot, sending the comet hurtling back where it came from. This process repeats and the comet will come back again and again. Halley's Comet is one of the most famous examples. It passes by Earth every 70 years or so. It takes other comets much longer to orbit the Sun, with a round trip lasting more than a million years. These objects come from a spherical cloud that's billions of kilometres outside our solar system, known as the Oort Cloud. But whether it's a meteorite found here on Earth or a daring mission to land on an asteroid millions of kilometres away, all of these space rocks help us discover new secrets from the history of our solar system to clues about our own origins. We hope you've learned something new, but if you're not done there, we have plenty more videos that are out of this world. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe to keep up to date with all our latest content.